How's it going? My name is Blake. This is Merch Campus. We're talking about Merch by Amazon today. This is a pretty exciting video for me. So now I hope you've been enjoying the Merch by Amazon beginner series, I'm trying to keep things at a very foundation level when it comes to research. And so there's a variety of tactics that I'm going to incorporate into this video because this video is all about a research routine what to go through every day to increase the chances that you find profitable niches that are relatively untapped, hopefully, but also to keep on top of current trends on Merch because it's very important because if there's a huge thing going on, it happens sometimes when I don't check Merch Informer for a while and I'll come back and there's, for example, this thing with RBG. To the point of this video, today we're gonna go into the routine that I like to do every day if I can to increase the odds of finding profitable niches, okay? So first things first, I want to start with something kind of interesting. Google News, news.google.com. You're going to type t-shirt, okay? You just want to look for something which has made the news uh, when it comes to t-shirts. Now, it, there won't always be something there. Political t-shirts are in fashion ahead of the midterms, okay? Then you go into here and you see, I'm with her, nasty woman. November is coming, okay? This is something that we could think about with the upcoming midterm elections, right? There's, I think, a few weeks until that. The reason I do this is sometimes, I think earlier this year, I was doing this and I found a t-shirt and all of a sudden I threw it up and it made it started to sell a few times every day. For about a week or two and that can happen and so I, I might as well take a couple of minutes to just do a quick search here and then i move on so now the next one i do and you'll see this if you've been following the series is i go to merch research.com so this is a cool routine you can just do every day click search t-shirts blank right nothing in there pulls up the merch by amazon shirts already gives you a good sense of kind of one of the hot sellers right now wow 500 Good job. And now we sort by newest arrivals and we just take a look at what are some of the shirts that were put up very recently within the past week that are already making sales because they can kind of indicate a strong niche demand. So Team Luke, it's pretty interesting. Personalized request from someone, so I would skip that. This is cute. I'm his boo. I know that there's already a lot of these kind of shirts up. Again, we're not going to try to copy it. We're just trying to see what's selling. This is really cool. So check it out. So it's like an LGBT cat. Right, so what they do, they've intersected the two niches. If you downloaded my the niche PDF, it's in the, it's in the description, you'll know that one of the best ways to get sales is by intersecting. So you have the LGBT market, it's all about pride, right? And then you have cats, which is, you know, who doesn't love their cat? And you can put it together and it's almost hard not to make a sale sometimes. This is a good one, I am a voter. So I registered and I will vote. <laughs> so as the midterms are approaching, there's a lot of pride around, you know, being part of that movement. I just want to see what comes up. A lot of shirts are coming up. They're all selling in the top row, all selling here, pretty much all selling down there. Wow, it's not bad. Now, to be fair, there's already 230 results. So if I would come into here, I would probably switch it up because I don't want to just straight up lift that quote. Because how are you going to compete with all these? There are already all the kinds of fonts for this phrase. Of course, sometimes you can just get in, price it low, and you'll get some sales, but I would prefer to go specific and say, okay, so what are you voting about? Who would you be voting for, right? Are you voting right wing, left wing, things like that, okay? So that's something I like to do, and I go all the way down this page, and it gives me a lot of insights into what is selling. Oh, that's interesting. Now check it out. If you scroll down, you'll see that all these, I'm a voter, I'm a voter, I'm a voter, I'm a voter, are in this front page, right? Uh, so it's showing you definitely that's a trend indicator. So that's one of the things I do, and you can also go into the next page, be kind, that's a cute one, where they, you get for bees, okay? So that's the second method I like to do every day. Third method, probably my favorite, merch informer, a merch hunter. Yeah, I like to do the top one first. I just wanna see like one of the best selling merch shirts right now. You wanna just, I just kinda like to stay on top of it. Okay, it's Shane Dawson, always at the top. Looks like a new shirt that he's launched. <laughs> this is the all time best. We've got Trumpkin as usual, this M thing, which again is clearly alluding to Eminem, the Eminem brand, but it's not the exact font, so I don't know if this will get taken down. All right, this, the Dabbing Pumpkin. This one, by the way, this Four Shades of Pumpkin, it made me think a lot of A645, and you go here, da 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 da. So it could be something, 8645 is basically an anti Trump shirt. Sale! And so, you just want to go through this merch hunter. I like to go to see where the most popular shirts are just for my own sake. I don't really intend to compete with them. It's highly competitive. Everyone's looking at this stuff. Daddy Shark's still up, still up. Know what's selling. See the RBG thing I mentioned earlier? It's still selling well. Now, what's kind of more interesting to me is when I go into the 100,000 and above. You can also tweet the price range because if it's below 13, you know, maybe it's not as interesting to you because any low price shirt can sell. This is cool, pointing to the fact that midterms are coming up and this is pride around voting. So that's a, a theme so far. Uh, I actually have sold, I'm selling voting shirts as well. No one fights alone, breast cancer. Again, I still don't know where to stand on that. So I haven't put up any of those shirts, but they seem to sell super well. Yep, there we go, breast cancer. This girl loves dinos, the Serminator. So I like to go in here. This is a 
really cool method just to see if there's any, just to see if she voted. So there's a uh, theme, you wanna pick up themes, right? Just be careful of any kind of like sport team thing in the US, there's a lot of pride around it, but there's also a lot of like infringement around it. So this, a lot of reviews, I won't even try it there. But you could see that any kind of variations on this theme of this niche, LGBT, seems to be selling pretty well. The mermaid costume because it's Halloween, right? I'm surprised that I haven't seen more Halloween shirts here. Here we go, fox costume, penguin tuxedo. Okay, you got the drift. And you just do this every day. And so you hit up Google News, you hit up recently added shirts on Merch by Amazon, you hit up Merch Hunter, and I'm actually gonna dig into the other one here, which if you haven't seen it already, you can check out the Merch Informer YouTube channel. Neil did a great video about how to look for the niches, evergreen niches and trending niches with this thing called the uh, Trend Hunter. What this module is doing is, is basically, you can see the shirts that have had the biggest drop in BSR, daily, weekly, or monthly. So monthly, the shirts which have had the biggest drop in BSR across the month, which is, in my opinion, a bigger indicator of a trend than daily because, you know, I'll have a shirt that hasn't sold in months and then it'll sell one day, deep BSR drop. But in fact, it's just a random evergreen hit, right? So I would actually prefer to mess with either the weekly or the monthly ones, but all of them are good to find new niches, right? Because if random shirts are just popping off the grid on the daily one, look at this, best tees for a bubble tea. That just gives you a great idea. I was like, oh cool, so people actually buy bubble tea shirts priced very nicely at $19.99. It's a really cute design. You can't really read the besties unless it's on like a lighter shirt. That's adorable. So that's a niche I didn't know about, the bubble tea niche. Of course, you don't want to just copy, right? You want to come to market with a new angle. Like if you watch the video, what Neil says, you basically go to Google and you can write bubble tea quotes. A boba a day keeps reality away. It's adorable, right? And then you go, you just validate it with, all right, right here. You actually want to do a more legit search like that, but yeah, I didn't think there'd be anything for it. So you can either get some really great evergreen niche ideas, right? You could also intersect them. So now you have a bubble tea niche, you could think about intersecting it with the holidays, which is always huge, you know, Thanksgiving, Halloween, Christmas, but you also intersect it with other things, right? You can make retro bubble tea t-shirts. This is all in the, in the PDF thing in the description. You can also just intersect it with like demographics, things like that, okay? So this would be more, in my opinion, for finding cool kind of evergreen ones, hitting the daily. But if you go to weekly or monthly, you will see something that's that's had a big BSR drop over the past week, right? So it's more of an indicator of a trend. As you can see here, the orange fruit Halloween t-shirt. How easy to do this, right? And then you can do this with different fruits, watermelons, anything which is apples and red, you know? See, and look, look at that simple, very clean title, funny orange fruit Halloween custom t-shirt. The interesting thing is that because there's so much demand in the Q4 around, clustered around these holidays, you can actually rank for relatively basic keywords, right? So that's part of the process, right? And if you if you just go down, you can just see, add a lot of interesting things. <laughs> that's a good one, a referee t-shirt. Okay, let, let's wrap this up. I'm just gonna conclude. So we started with the Google News. You can also go to uh, trends.google.com. They talk about some of the things that are trending on the homepage. Let's do like the past five years. It's like trending, it was trending this year, okay? So keto in general probably sell as shirts. Keto shirt or on Amazon. It's a, it's a selling niche for sure. I do news, I would probably do trends as well if I wanted to validate something. The merchresearch.com and just sort by recently added to see which shirts were put up recently and, and sell. And then I would also do the merch hunter, see the best selling shirts and then do the ones 100,000 and above. Then I would also go to trend hunter, uh, see the movers and shakers, whether it's monthly, weekly or daily, that's up to your preference. Daily, in my opinion, is less of an accurate trend indicator as weekly or monthly but it can spit out a lot of incredible ideas. Like just look at this, the gentle stirs, right? In my opinion, those are basically my, my quick five steps that I like to do. And there's so many other ways to do research as well. How we haven't talked about Etsy, we haven't talked about Pinterest, Google. So there's a lot of, a lot of ideas out there. Hopefully this was a useful video. Let me know in the comments if there's anything that was not very clear. I'm gonna put some links in the description if you wanna check it out. Thank you very much for watching, talk soon.